<sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to push the sphere as far as... That's it! Stay focused! Splendid! Don't lose your composure! Excellent! Happens to the best of us. Very good! Points to Slytherin! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Let us see this. That's it, Misha. Yes. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. There we go. Akio. Let us see this. Done. 
I need you. But try not to be nervous. You are doing quite well. Quite impressive. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very... Dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Accio on humans. A word if, if you're you so would. inclined. Well, you wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. You I trust your to first to charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you.
after my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Rebellion. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Rebellion. Rebellion. Whee! Ah. Oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice? Not for the meek. He Rebellion. Stop me, did Wrangler's cup. Sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. I feel the thing is contained with jam. So I took my revenge. <laughs> it was granted my privileges. Be handsome indeed. Or I'd fire up the cannon. So she agreed. If I could undo all that happened that day, I would! Rebellion! You can make it. Lucan's just over there.
Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! <laughs> It's also can bring us your better. It's also stupid. I'm the one. Let you Lumos. Don't shy away now. Let me go. Let me go. Is that all you've got? Free go. Some big hit that round. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organise these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Nice to see you, my young friend. Just wait till I've grown a bit, then we'll see how well you I do. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Rebellion. How goes it? I'd like to retire to Hogsmeade one day. Rebellion.
What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. We've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's Potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Ah. 
Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Action! Got it. A flying page must be around here somewhere. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it! Very good! If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Rebellion. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavour to be the very best of guides, then. 
Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention with you. Just enough to keep me well rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them, too. Poop and sugarfoot. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little? It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always seen the Thestrals pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. 
Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Huh? A Demi guys? I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spellcrafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Rebellion.
Revelio. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How 
intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Phoenix feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. What do you think? Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Rebellion. I was standing behind a till. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though... I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, 
Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. What can I do for you today? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Revelio.
I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. A second troll? Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair it. <laughs> I'll go and see what you want.
Prepare her. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. I insist. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Revelio. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? 
Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Oh. How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the calibre of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. <sighs> Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. 
Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. <laughs>